What happens when a male jaguar mates with a female lion? In a world where science and technology have redefined the way we live and the possibilities that we experience, some things that were better left to the imagination are now made to look possible. If you have ever wondered what happens when a male jaguar mates with a female lion, the answer to your question or imagination is in this video. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and remember to turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on other videos. When a male jaguar mates with a female lion or lioness, the offspring is referred to as a jag lion or jaguar. Jag lion is a combination of the parent animal's names, jaguar and lion. There are no natural names for the offspring. This offspring is a hybrid species of the wild cats, and because the two animals, jaguar and lion, belong to the same genus, their genes are broadly similar. Also, it is essential to state that while it is not surprising that the two animals can mate, the possibility of that happening is rare. It is so rare that there has not been a record of that happening before this century. Even in this century, it happened only once, as far back as 2006. It happened in the Bear Creek Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada. This center is a charity that treats and rehabilitates injured, abused, and endangered wild animals. The center opens its doors for both local and exotic animals, and it was in this spirit that two wild cats, a lioness later named Lola, and a male jaguar, later named Diablo, found their way into the center. Both animals came into the sanctuary within one week and became inseparable. They lived, fed, and grew together as the efforts of their handlers to separate them proved abortive. The two animals would throw tantrums and suffer anxiety and depression at any effort to separate them. There were reports that Lola refused to eat when separated from Diablo. While the handlers allowed them to live together, they separated them temporarily any time Lola went into heat. However, despite this precaution, Lola got pregnant and birthed two healthy jag lion cubs in April 2006. The cubs were named Tsunami for the male and Jezhara for the female. While Tsunami adopts the lioness's fairer coat, he comes with spots, while Jazhara takes after the jaguar with its melanistic and predominantly black coat. Apart from this incident, there has not been any other record of this type of mating again. In fact, that of Bear Creek Sanctuary was a mistake and a surprise, as the center doesn't breed animals. Thus, there is not enough room for experts to study which of the parent animals the jag lion would look like if a male jaguar did mate with a lioness. It all bores down to luck when determining which parent's genes the jag lion will take. There is no telling which traits will come out as dominant. However, other crossbreeding arrangements show that spots are a dominant gene in many wild cats. This means that a jaguar with spots will most likely pass the characteristics down to its offspring, so you can expect most jag lions to have spots. This also means that if the jaguar is a melanistic type with a black coat, the same coat pattern and color can be expected on the jag lion. However, a trait you can expect the jag lion to pick from its mother is the tuft of hair on the tail. Both Jazhara and Tsunami have this. Also, a male jag lion will most likely not grow a mane. With this size, you could expect anything between 200 and 230 pounds. This is because the average lioness measures 260 pounds in size, while the biggest jaguars measure around 200 pounds. Thus, it is expected that the jag lion will be an average of this. With stature, it is even more difficult to guess. This is because both parent animals are sexually dimorphic, meaning that both male and female animals of both species have different sizes and stature. That is about all anyone can assume or guess about the physical appearance of the jag lion. The rest is down to luck, and which of the parent animals get the dominant or recessive genes in the offspring. 
this brings us to the end of the video. We hope you have learned one or two things about what happens when a male jaguar mates with a female lion. Please do subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and share it with your friends. Thank you.